Hello people, my name is Matthew Joseph and this is welcoming you to another episode of Leisure Lifestyle Podcast Channel brought to you by Leisure Cult Limited. On today's episode, with me is Olufumilola Omoloja. Hi for me. Hi Matthew, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. All right, next to her is my one and only Pella Tire Morka. Hello, Pella. Hello, Mr. Matthew. Good evening. Yeah, it's good nice evening. to be here. Yeah, good to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, people. Today we will be talking about the real estate sector in Lagos and Abuja. You agree with me that one of the biggest cities that contribute immensely to the economy of Nigeria when it has to do with real estate is Abuja and Lagos. So today we will be looking at the differences and how each city contributes to the economy of Nigeria. Olufumilola, Lagos or Abuja, where will you put your real estate money? Okay, thank you, Mr. Matt. Um, when we talk about um, when we talk about real estate markets in Abuja or Lagos, what we should put in, into consideration is uh, we should look at um, standard of living, economic trend, um, social activities, cultural activities, business trend. Do you understand? All these actually have a huge influence on the economy of the country yeah so when we look at um abuja abuja it's a beautiful city um the tranquility the ser serenity the um is it the uh beautiful infrastructural facilities we want to talk about you know all that they are all good but lagos on the other way around i would go with lagos on this right now because lagos affects um uh the economy of the country sorry but, but you just, just mentioned serenity tranquility so all those yes but when we talk right about lagos. lagos have a current um activities when it comes to buying and selling demand and supply mm -hmm. lagos has more influence on economy more than abuja oh yes Bella, do you agree with that lagos has more influence on the economy than abuja well yes actually i do agree to that 100 percent because um looking at the economic size of abuja and lagos not just the size also of the activities in lagos and abuja you will see that lagos has more economic activities than abuja reasons for that lagos has industries where they manufacture products you see people coming in from different countries, different parts of the country to, 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 to perform economic activities every day in Lagos. They buy, they make business or deals, they offer services. In my time in Lagos, I actually realized that a majority of people you see in Lagos on a daily basis during the day do not actually live in Lagos. They come to do their businesses and they go back to their domains. At the end of the day, you see that Lagos is more of an economic center than Abuja is. Meanwhile, in Abuja, we have more of civil servants, governments, people work with the government, and then um, a few private sectors are springing up gradually now. But in Lagos, we have more of this than in Abuja. So the I agree. Lagos I agree. The economic hub of Nigeria. Yes. So that's what you just. Yes. So I agree now. that Lagos contributes immensely to the economy of Nigeria than um, Abuja does. So, so when we when we talk about when we try to relate it to real estate now, Lagos has um, high return on investments as compared to Abuja. Take for instance, if you buy a property in Lagos Island in in Lagos, yeah you are sure that your investment is going to have value in no time. But we're talking about Lagos Island. You just mentioned Lagos yes. Island. That's a prime location, no doubt, right. in Lagos. But we also have such locations here in Abuja that in no time too, when you invest your money, um, your returns come... Returns on uh, investments in, in Lagos okay. is actually influenced by um, demand and supply. Why here in Abuja, 
their return on investment is actually influenced by availability of cash. Now, when you talk about demand and supply of properties in Lagos, yeah. I, me and you know that it's not everybody that has that demand of real estate investment. What Lagosians, mm. or an average Lagosian need mm. is a shelter. Mm -hmm. And if a, an average Lagosian cannot afford to stay on the island, he go and stay on the mainland, come to the island, do his business, and he goes back home. Yeah. So for such a fellow, does he have any business investing in real estate? Why not? If you have the money, a lot of people that I know, they don't want to stay on the highland. They prefer to be on the mainland because, you know, they have a lot of activities. Activities are, all, are going on everywhere in Lagos. But hey, some people prefer to do their stuffs on the mainland. They have buildings, they have investment on the highland, but it lives on the mainland. Now, so, Pella, let's look at the both markets and how they contribute to the economy. Abuja is a beautiful city, the seat of power. Where would you prefer to live? Is it the seat of power where decision making takes place or in the economic hub where you can actually fly in there, do any of your business and you get out? Okay, personally, I would love to live in a city where I can move around easily. Which is one of the advantages of, of Abuja. Abuja. Of Abuja, yes. But looking at some other factors, one can easily find them in Lagos than in Abuja. But when it comes to ease of movement, when it comes to serenity, when it comes to comfort, Abuja offers more of that than Lagos does because in Lagos, where you go to, where you go to in Abuja in an hour, in Lagos it can take you up to four or five hours to go to that same place. That's an understatement. A journey of 13 so minutes in Lagos can take you seven hours. So personally for me, yeah. I would prefer living in a city where I can move around with ease. I can go where I want to go to without rushing. I can wake I can have enough sleep and wake up. I still get to where I'm going to in time. But with Lagos you can't you can't have enough sleep if you know you want to, if, if you have an 8 a.m appointment in lagos you can't have enough sleep especially when you're moving from the mainland down to the island or from the island down to the mainland oh dear you have to wake up on time to do that but in abuja you can have your beauty sleep enjoy yourself you wake up you drive down there majestically you meet up with your appointments and that's it so when it comes to comfort when it comes to ease of movement abuja does that for me Oh, great. Now, I'm talking about your ease of movement and comfort. You will agree with me that the great infrastructural plan in Abuja made that possible for you. Check out the road networks we have in Abuja. Now, the maintenance of the road is an ongoing project that every now and then, because it's a seed of power, you'll agree with me that there are road expansions and road maintenances that makes going about the city so easy for you. You agree that, right? Yes, I totally agree with you, Mr. Matthew. Coupled with the fact that Abuja is not as populated as Lagos. Thank you for agreeing that um, Abuja is not as populated as Lagos. That's why you can have all those uh, uh, freedom of movement uh, within um, with it in color and high but do you want to uh you cannot deny the fact the the, the kind of a luxury life, lifestyle that you will enjoy in lagos as compared to to abuja do you want to talk about the nice structure close to the beach skyscrapers be beautiful structures and all that so all those things that we are enjoying in lagos i'm sure you do not have that here in abuja now when you talk about the buildings, the lifestyle, the beaches, and what have you that you have in Lagos. Yeah. Lagos is dynamic in its own facet. Right. There's no doubt about right. that. But you also believe with me that Abuja has introduced a new twist in the real estate economy okay. that contributes greatly to what we have in Nigeria. Now, when you talk about luxury, Abuja also has luxury. 
Yes, yeah, Abu yes. Dhabi will have lost, really, no doubt about it. Yes. But you cannot compare it to what is on ground in Lagos, what we have in Lagos. That's why you see a lot of people, they, they, they prefer, yeah, uh, people prefer to do business in Lagos. Smart ones, they prefer to do businesses in Lagos than here in Africa. I don't have doubts about doing so business what, in Lagos. So what, what are we saying? That's why we have even properties in Lagos. So, you get, you, you understand. Right. But when you talk about even the lifestyle, talk about the caliber of people that settle in these both cities. Oh yes, diplomats. Yes, we have, we have, have you see those caliber of people you You see those caliber of people you're talking about. Mm. Yes, fine. They come to Abuja to relax because we all agree that I know that Lagos is a bit noisy. Yes, I know we know that fact. But hey. The demand and yeah, we all know that, but without those activities in Lagos, forget it. Abuja is too dull, there is no lifestyle in Abuja as compared to Lagos. Whoa, right? Well, Mr. Matthew, let me yeah. come in, right? Okay, so I totally agree with Miss Fumi on when we talk about Lagos offering more entertainment and a better lifestyle in terms of entertainment, in terms of um, relaxation and other things. But when we narrow it down to lifestyle in general, for me, I always go with Abuja. But then, when we come to the real estate industry, when we relate how much Lagos and Abuja offers in economic development of Nigeria in real estate industry, for me, I think Lagos does more of the contribution. So, Ms. Fumi, as a smart investor that you are, with preference in Lagos than Abuja, what are one of the major factors you want to use to buttress that? Lagos is, you know, highly populated, and the economy there, like I said earlier, it's it's the economy is dynamic and in di diverse. So there, are, um, we have good um, um, investment options for for people making it more a bit easier for them to you know afford yes i quite agree with you on that because even the cost of living there the cost of buying property there are not of affordable options yeah. in lagos which yeah. you can afford uh miss pella what are your preferences and what are the factors that determines your preference well for me location would come to mind first when we compare lagos to abuja lagos is on the coast side of nigeria on the coastal part of nigeria and abuja is in the hearts of nigeria now that brings us down to the weather conditions lagos has a cold weather and sometimes can be hot meanwhile abuja has a more conducive weather condition all around the year so people will definitely want to be in, sorry, I would definitely want to be in an environment where I know the weather is somehow stable or constant for me. Mm -hmm. And then when we also look at um, Lagos, comparing it to Abuja, we see that Lagos is more prone to flooding. Meanwhile, Abuja, you, you rarely hear cases of flooding in Abuja. So for me, the location will always come to mind first. Oh, that's so very interesting. And uh, on the other way, uh, I choose Abuja because of the security network that is in place. Abuja is generally considered to be more safer and more secure than Lagos. Yes, of I course, you agree with, with me yes, because it that. is the city center and the capital hub of Nigeria. Now, in Abuja, it's as good as saying you can call on the security and they can come straight to your location or to your house, wherever you are. Why? Because of, of course, you know how we have good networks of road and communication in Abuja. And look at the crime rate too. Crime rates in Abuja and Lagos, they are quite very different. There are minimal crime rates in Abuja, while Lagos has a higher rate of crime activities that you can think about and aside this also i think Ms. fumi wants to also share uh part of the factors of course with us oh, okay i would still say um infrastructural facility um abuja has a good 
um, infrastructure when it comes to that good wide road uh, network wide drainage system abuja is well planned there's no doubt about that it's well planned as compared to to lagos right water supply uh, electricity and all as compared to to lagos but that does not mean um um, Lagos is that bad when it comes to infrastructural facilities. They also have good roads in some part of uh, Lagos. I think the only problem they have is because of um, um, Lagos has more water yes, than in that, their coastal right. location. So that's that's the only challenge that I can say they have as compared to, I mean, to yeah, Abuja. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was great. I, I totally agree with what each and every one of us have said. But now for our parting shots, uh, Ms. Fumi, what's, what's your parting shots to your okay. viewers and your Thank listeners? you, Mr. Matthew. I would say whichever way, I mean, whichever one they want to, or anywhere they feel like investing in, both um, cities, both Lagos and Abuja, are a great place for investment you can invest your money in abuja also in lagos um you won't have any regret doing that they both have a great influence on the economy thank you oh, that's great uh, Pella? yes mr matthew like miss fumi just said investments in real estate can be done either in abuja or in lagos reason they both have beautiful amenities and lots of other things they offer and based on individual preference you can decide to buy in lagos you can decide to buy in abuja and some people even decide to buy both in abuja and lagos whichever is your preference oh. it's totally fine oh that's lovely great people uh you will agree with me uh that why they said abuja could be considered as a re retirement home for people who have made money you also agree with me that Lagos is a place to make money. So make all the money from whichever cities you want to make them and also invest in real estate in whichever city. They are both beautiful cities as far as Nigeria is concerned. Well, we must thank you really for coming on this show today. It has been a great and a lovely moment and very educative to our viewers and any smart investor out there so thank you people for watching thank you for your time like it said whichever your preference is whatever your budget is do not hesitate real estate is the place to go is the best investment you could do and just go and sleep off reach out to us from any of our offices or on our social media handle for the best advice as far as real estate investment in con is concerned we'll come your way again on another episode thank you for investing your time with us we want to see you in our offices and we'll help you out with your investment thank you